on the floor soon. With that, I yield back the balance of my time. The gentlelady yields back. The gentleman from Georgia seeks recognition for what purpose? Move to strike the last word. The gentleman's recognized for five minutes. Mr. Chairman, I rise in support of the of the aims in uh, H.R. 4510, the NTI Reauthorization Act of 2023, which is crucial to helping close the digital divide. This federal agency has not been reauthorized in over 30 years, and these updates are necessary to keep up with the recent advancements. H.R. 4510 also includes my bill, which codifies NTIA's Institute for Telecommunication Sciences, or ITS. The ITS provides NTIA with complex testing and analysis, which is important for making spectrum policy decisions. Strengthening the statutory authority of ITS is essential to U.S. global competitiveness and innovation. I urge my colleagues to support this bipartisan legislation to modernize NTIA, and I yield back. The gentleman yields back the balance of his time. The, gen the ge gentleman from Florida uh, seeks recognition, which uh, does the gentleman from Florida seek recognition? Uh, move to strike the last word. Gentleman is recognized for five minutes to strike the last word. Thank you, Chairman. You know, last Congress, we worked with President Biden on a bold vision to ensure high-speed internet access for all Americans. Much like President Johnson many years earlier in the 1960s sought to electrify the nation, we are now making sure that internet, which is essential for everything from telehealth to small businesses to high-tech agriculture to just a quality way of life in rural America uh, that they would have access to. And so the infrastructure law passed with $65 billion uh, for broadband investment, including $42 billion for the Broadband Equity Access and Deployment Act, the, the BEAD Act. And Mr. Chairman, I'm excited. Florida just got $1.17 billion to help with areas, including rural areas in our district. Uh, in addition to the American Rescue Plan, this money is gonna help with areas like East Orange County, rural South Osceola. We already see areas like Keenansville, Bull Creek, and Deer Park getting um, rural broadband finally to them. And that's why I'm making sure to reauthorize the National Telecommunications and Information Administration is critical. Um, because they need to be ready to go to implement this ambitious plan to close the digital divide uh, to modernize our equipment, strengthen our networks against cyber attacks, and improve public safety communications, especially for a state like Florida, where we uh, get a lot of hurricanes, unfortunately. Uh, for that and more, I urge my colleagues to vote for this great bill. And I yield back. Jim, yields back. Uh, the gen what purpose 